Hello everyone, I'm Derek Sandoval with the Placer County's Young Professionals Network. And I'm Jennifer Klein, Placer County Young Professionals Network. <laughs> We're here today to talk a little bit about pocket, list, pocket listings, uh, which is a hot topic uh, across the United States. Uh, it's really a big deal here uh, locally in Placer County. Um, basically a pocket listing is a listing, um, a home for sale that doesn't necessarily hit the MLS. So it doesn't go through a traditional marketing um, scheme, I guess. Um, and it, it's a hot topic, I think, because some buyers are getting frustrated in that they're seeing properties be sold, but they're not given the opportunity to buy them. And ultimately, it's <clears throat> it's the seller's choice, you know, if, if they want to have a traditional marketing scheme. So um, it's just important to kind of understand that. And, and there's another hot topic going on. Well, and then to piggyback off of that, the, the other thing is, is skewing numbers for appraisals and things like that mm -hmm. for when you're refinancing because the, the numbers aren't showing up on the MLS. So that's becoming another issue with those pocket listings. Um, another thing to look at that we're seeing a lot in our market you know, as well as across the country is sellers who are and listing agents who are actually marketing the property ahead of time. Property goes on the MLS and it's pending the same day. The thing that you have to worry about there is is <clears throat> the property getting the right exposure and our buyers able to get inside the property in time because it's tif dif difficult to get that done um, you know, in a 24-hour period. Um, so those are some of the things that we are seeing uh, in our marketplace and also across the country. And, and it's frustrating, obviously, because of the <clears throat> lack of inventory that we have. That, you know, buyers, I know I'm hearing it, I'm sure you're hearing it, buyers are frustrated. Um, they're, they're not getting a shot at the property, but again, it does re uh, reverse back to the seller. It's the seller's choice. Um, so, you know, I, I think some agents are maybe taking it upon themselves to go ahead and make it a pocket listing, which may not be ethical. Um, and, and you should definitely, if you have questions about it, feel free to ask the agent. Um, but a seller certainly has the right to not want to have uh, a high traffic open house and all that type of exposure. So um, typically they have to put it in writing or something like that. Um, but it's not necessarily illegal. Ultimately, it's the seller's choice. And a way they can kind of cut down on the high traffic is just to have some showing set aside for maybe on a Saturday and a Sunday for a few hours. That way they can go out and go take their kids to the water park or the park and um, have their house shown. And that way they get the proper exposure and they get more offers. Um, typically, when the more offers you get, the better offers you're going to get. So um, you get the quality and the, and the quantity. So Maximum exposure for, yeah. The MLS and, and our marketing is basically set up to get you top dollar. Maximum exposure and pocket listings may not have that opportunity. So... Jennifer Klein here, Young Professionals Network. And Derek Sandoval, um, Keller Williams Realty and the Young Professionals Network out of Placer County. Thanks. Thank you.